Hello all you crafty people. This is Lisa Paper Lace and Bling. We are on our second video, I believe. I believe it's second. On um, making my recipe book. It's not going to be a huge thing, but it is going to carry a lot of goodies. Okay, so um, first off, before we go any further, I did decide after reviewing my notes here that I do want to have a half inch gusset in the front and a half inch gusset in the back. So I'm just going to add that there. So that is that. So we got that part done. Yay! Yay! So add two more half inch strips. One on, one on the front and one on the back. Okay? Now, um, before I go any further with these, uh, I definitely did not want to have this open in the front or the side because I've got this. And I think it'll it'll make my page a little more uh, a little more sturdier. But then I thought, why not use a piece? Because I want to have my tabs. So if I go ahead and use a whole piece of paper that goes down. Okay, come on now. I know this should go all the way. Yeah. So I have a whole sheet of paper here, and I'm going to cut it. So I'm, I'm going to put a mark right where... Now remember, sometimes your envelopes are not square, so make your marks on here. And then this is how high, but we're not going to cut that part yet. I am going to go ahead and get rid of this extra length here. And I don't want it sticking out, so I'm going to make it, you know, this was on the outside of the envelope, so I'm going to make it about a quarter of an inch to the inside so that it's not sticking out. All right. You know, maybe, maybe an eighth of an inch. Because I do want it to kind of look like it is encompassing the entire... So there. There we go. Alright. So that's good. Um, and I'm going to do each one individually because they can all be a little different. Uh, these can all be off a little bit if you don't get them all the way to the edge but not onto the... Uh, score line. If you're off a little bit more, you're going to need a little bit more card. So don't worry about it. Just do each one individually. Uh, and I think that that was the only thing that I wanted to deal with. So I've got my next one. I've got my piece in the front. I'm going to go ahead and put my tape down. And I've got my, my marks here so I don't put my tape uh, any further up because so I think that's just going to get cut off and then I'm just bringing it around the bottom and tearing it before and let me go ahead and do this last one like that as well and then when I go to burnish I will also work on Oh, that one was a little short, a little shy of the mark. And then that's a little over the mark. <laughs> I think it'll be fine. Okay, so now I'm going to burnish, but I'm also going to work my score marks on my, you know, on my flaps. Okay. So let's go ahead and get this one. 
all the way around and I'm going to put some glue right in this area. There we go. Okay. Separate them. Slide it all the way. And there we go. Give it a little burnish. And let's go ahead and get this last one in. go. Little bit of glue. Oh, let me get this little piece. I forgot. And a little bit of glue. Okay, and then the last envelope. Got my piece in the front. I'm just laying it down, lining it up, folding it over, just like that. All right. Okay, and then I'm going to cut my other two sheets for this, uh, the, uh, the other two of these, and then I'll be back and I'll show you what we're going to do after that. So stay tuned, guys. Bye. Well, I started figuring something out for my tabs, and I thought, bring you guys along. Come on, Lisa. <laughs> so you can see my math skills in action, right? Okay. So I want to make three tabs. Obviously, I want them to look as identical to one another as possible. So, my sheet all the way across is nine and a half inches. All right, so if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and a half. All right, and it doesn't really matter how far down I go because I'm just working with this. <clears throat> So now, if I start with this half, and so three, six, nine, right? So if I start with a half and go to seven and a half, that's one, two, three. And then no, 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 let's do. Split six. I just need to do a quarter, right? Let's see. If I did if I didn't do the half inch, then I'd have to split an eighth of an inch. So I'm going to make it uh three and one eighth. Not really. Three and one sixteenth. No, that's a half inch. So, uh, so a half inch is two quarters. Two quarters is four eighths. But, yeah. So I'm going to do it the three, three and one eighths inch long, and then whatever's left on the other side is just going to get its extra. So I'm going to do first, this is my first page, and I want the tab to be towards the spine. No. No. I want it to be towards the edge, so I'll do that one last. Okay. So this is the one towards the spine. So I need it on this side. So my first one, ow, will be right there. Okay, and then 
I'm going to remove, I haven't used this a lot. I'm going to remove this and huh one, two, three okay I'm not sure how I'm supposed to use this but what I'm looking for is about right here okay that's three and one eighth so let's see that takes it to nine a little bit before nine all right ah dead burn it I did it wrong I'm supposed to flip it this way and cut it. That's what I'm supposed to do is flip it this way and cut it. Okay, but we have another try. <laughs> Don't you just love it? Okay, so putting my side tab only works this way. Putting my side tab back in put the first see you guys just come along for the ride with me and then I need it to be and I've got it right here one two three and an eighth right in there okay so I'm not exactly sure. I'm going to line that right up. And there we go. And it's because it's on the edge here that you didn't get that final little mark. And then we come over here. And we set this right here and we cut off the rest. There we go. All right, so there is our first, our last, I'm sorry. There is our last card. But now it's gonna need to be cut down. Uh, I think we'll go ahead and do all of these first, and then I'll show you how easy peasy way of getting these cut down perfectly or exactly where you want them. All right, I mean easy peasy. Okay, so this is the middle one. Now the middle one. First off, let's see. We want one, two, three, and an eighth. So we want this one to start right about here and go one, two, three, and an eighth and go to about here. Okay, so this little tab A has a line. I am lining my first cut. Is this correct? I believe so. Okay, and then I'm going to have to flip this over. Okay. So we have one, two, three, and an eighth. And let me just see. Yeah, that's, that's just about right. So now I'm flip, I flipped it. This is the original cut. And then I'm flipping it and lining that line up I just made. And pushing it down. So there's that. And we're going to I don't know why that doesn't line up. That's just kind of weird. It doesn't line up to well I guess eventually it cuts off right there. Okay. 
and I'm going to bring this one over here. Yeah, eventually it does it does come off. Okay, so then there is the middle one. Let's see how we did. Oh, very nice, very nice. And then now for my last one. Okay, so for the last one, I'm going to measure three inches in. One, two, three, and give it a little bit of a you know, a little bit of a of a of an eighth. Oh boy, let's see. Let's just do it this way. I need for this last one, so it's all the way in. These are flat. So I need for the last one to start right here. That's pretty much how I want that to be. So right here. And that is right where I drew the line, so we're good. So this is the front, and I'm going to run this right, right where that is, and then I'm going to flip it, and I'm going to put my side tab back, and I'm just going to punch this one more time, and that gives me my last little bit there. And then whoops. So this is a handy tool. I wouldn't I wouldn't say rush out and buy it because you can totally if you don't have this tool, listen guys. If you don't have this tool, Totally get a file folder out from your filing and trace. Lay it up against there and trace your tab. Uh, make us a, a um, you know, make it a, a get you a, a strip of paper and fold it like this and give it two little cuts and make that a tab you know I mean you can make them anyway if if I didn't need words I mean if I didn't need to write on these look how cute that would be put 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 this on a piece of um, let's see am I gonna let me use let me use this one do I have a piece large enough left over no uh, okay so you cut this out put it on a piece of craft cardstock and then just fussy cut around you know not getting everything and then leave that bit and glue it down and then you would have a tab that said gather on it how cute is that you know if you don't need to write on them yourselves or you can put the the um, the gather on there and leave a little a little square off to the side so that you can actually write something on it. You know, you can you the sky's the limit, guys. You can cut out a mushroom or a flower and make those just some tabs just for pretty. You don't actually have to have a working tab. But let's see what I have now with my working tabs. So there. So I love that. That's a good look. I'll be able to write on it and um, all of that. So now, as I promised, the little trick. See, so now, how do you get that to be the size you want? Because I want, let's see, let's first find out from here to here it's three quarters of an inch which is exactly the size we have here so let's put this down 
top first. Oops, not inside the pocket, and down in the center. And you're going to um, make sure, because this, this is the tab, so that's what you're resting it on. You're not resting it on anything else. Um, but you do want to make sure it's square and even in there because it's not leaning against my paper. So then I would say it's not square and even in there. So it needs to be against the tab and against this. Okay, so then I'm going to take, because we want it to the top of this, that's where I'm going to cut. And then if you, if you do get it a little too short, you will by certainly uh, be able to you know lift it up a little bit but then you're not going to have the support you need all the way down and you see here I have just a little bit showing that I don't want showing let me make sure that it's all the way down in there and yes it is so I am gonna want mm, an eighth of an inch more, I think. That's about it. Just a little eighth of an inch. Actually looked like I had it a little on the crooked side. Okay, so I don't want it showing and I just have it just a, a, a little titch. So that's good for me. That's good for me. It's not showing on the side here. and It's laying down nice and flat. So I am going to go ahead I don't know. Sometimes I just don't know my own strength, I guess. I am going to go ahead and put this in. I'm going to glue one side down at a time. getting in there nice and straight all the way to the end flatten your page out oh yeah that just is so much so much nicer and now all we're going to do on the back side is just where we can get to we do want to go all the way to the top okay There we go. All right. So there's our first one. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the other two. With this center one, you're going to put it in. Make sure it is lined up all the way down here and that you have this all the way down to the bottom. And we're going to make this just a titch shorter. Uh, let me see if I can show you. It's just a titch shorter. Gosh, I can't tell it. I'm a little too far away. It's just a little bit shorter than the edge. And I'm going to actually cut the line off which will make it a little bit shorter than that okay and let's see where we stand here put this one down 
Are they going to be nice? Oh, yeah, nice and even. Beautiful, beautiful. And then let's do this one. Now, this one is going to make sure you have it all the way against on both sides and down. And again, we're going to go just a titch shorter. Remember, you can always cut off more, but you can't always add it back. So, and let's see, are we all the same length? Yes, we are all the same length. So beautiful. This one. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Love it. But again, you can make those tabs any way you want. Any way you want. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and glue this one in. Have it. Oh, needs to pop back in there just a little bit. There we go. Oops. See, I got a little wrinkle in there. Doesn't really bother me too much because this does buckle a little bit. And uh, but this is all going to get covered, so it's it's just fine. And then we're going to go all the way down. Be really careful about your corners. Get all the way down in there. Little bit of extra. Okay. All right. There's that one, and then we have this one. Okay, slide it all the way. All the way down. There we go. I'm sorry I have this very noisy bracelet on. It drives me nuts, but I do love wearing it. Okay. And there we have our pages done. They're not decorated, but they are certainly done. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead. Now we have our half inch gusset. And I am going to, let's see, let's go ahead and get, let's see, where is my quarter inch score tape? I'm going to go ahead and write on the ends I'm 
I am going to put some tape because this is going to be on the cover. I mean, this is a super simple, easy uh, book to do. Super simple, easy build. Okay, so let's burnish. get too full I can't do anything <laughs> okay so we'll get these off and then I'm gonna put some tape down some tape some glue just where there's no tape Alright, now this is the front. I'm using this part to put under here, so this part is going to be um, the outside of the book. This is towards the spine. So I'm just going to start in one corner, make sure I go straight across, and that I am missing... There we go. Missing my fold. And I have a little piece of tape hanging that I didn't get. I'm just going to cut that off. So there is the front of our recipe book. Love it! And then I'm going to do the same thing on the back. Wait a minute. I did want to reinforce this just a little bit. Now I don't have to bring it to all the way to the front, but I do have, see that's that. Um, I think I'll add it afterwards. I can totally add something just to this part of the book. Yes, totally. So, let's go ahead and get our score tape and do the same thing. Right on the edge. Remember, don't stretch your tape. And here. Glue. I'm leaving that. Usually when I put glue down, I, uh, I have already taken the cover off. But I thought I would go ahead and just show you where I'm putting the glue. Because I know you couldn't see where the shiny... I don't think you could see where the shiny stuff was the first time. And then I'm just going to take off... I didn't burnish very well, did I? <laughs> I got so enthralled about showing you that that I didn't do... But it's no problem. We can fix anything, guys. We can fix anything. And if we can't, we can just start all over again. It's just paper, people. Just paper. And envelopes. And, and a hanging file folder. <laughs> you can get those at garage sales all the time. Okay. 
Again, I'm going to put this down. I'm going to start in one corner, staying away from the score mark, follow the side of the book down, and then I was not right on the edge. So let me try that again. There we go. Okay, so there we go. We now have our book made, and I am definitely going to want to reinforce this, but everything looks pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. <laughs> I'm loving it. Okay, it's going to, um, it, it's ending up, it's four half inch gussets so it's a two inch spine which is not bad it's still very easy to to grasp um, I usually like to keep it two inches or under you start getting over two inches and and that's a handful and you know these get so heavy so you start getting into that uh, larger size I'm not saying you can't do it I mean more power to you I have done them, it have been four inches, but I mean, you've got to spread your hand pretty wide to grab hold of that book. It's, it, those are monsters, monsters. And then with me getting older and, and noticing my, my hands don't want to grab the things that they used to want, used to be okay with, mainly my thumbs, just bad. So anyway, guys, that is it for today. We now have a working book, and we're going to start getting started on decorating. Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to do um, one of the pages, just so I can figure the best way of doing this. And it's probably going to, yeah, I think I got a little, a little hack that's going to take care of that as well. All right, guys? Mwah! See y'all later! Bye!